Obviously, uh, life begins at the moment of fertilization when a single sperm fuses with an ovum to form a one-celled embryo or zygote. At this moment, the ultimate character of that indi new individual is decided. The Quran recorded these facts 1,400 years ago. Al Harth, uh, Surah Al Bagara, Ayah uh, 223. Your wives are as a tilth unto you. This Arabic term refers to the plowing of the earth and the sowing of the seed in it. This term is used in reference to sexual intercourse, plowing, and implantation of the blastocyst, sowing of the seed. This analogy is a very good one since the blastocyst develops root like structures called chorionic villi, which derive oxygen and nutrients from the mother's blood, just as the roots of the plant shown here uh, derive their nutrients from the soil. Next uh, is Alaka. Let's have the next slide. Alaka is uh, Surah al Muminim Ayah 14. Then we created the drop into a leech-like structure. Then of that leech-like structure, we made a chewed-like substance. Uh, Alaka refers to a leech-like appearance especially at about 22 days, as shown in this slide. This is a leech, and this is the human embryo, but 23 days. I think you have to agree that the similarity between these uh, structures is amazing, and that it is truly, the human embryo is truly leech-like. The leech-like embryo is attached to the chorionic sac, which is embedded in the maternal blood, and attached to the maternal endometrium or the lining of the uterus. Mohammed could not have known these facts about human development in the 7th century because most of them were not discovered until the 20th century. Muslims and others are justified in concluding that these facts could only have been revealed to Mohammed by the one known who knows all about us, not only about how we developed, but how we live and function. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولقد خلقنا الإنسان من سلالة من طين And certainly did we create man from an extract of clay ثم جعلناه نطفة في قرار مكين then we placed him as a sperm drop in a firm lodging. Then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot, and we made the clot into a lump of flesh, and we made from the lump bones, and we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators.